We all like to think we are a perfect world. We all like to think we exist in a world that is free from extreme poverty. But we are wrong. There is over 1.7 billion people living in extreme poverty. And every 3.6 seconds, one person dies from starvation. We are not a perfect world. Hey, my name is Farshi Bears and I'm a year 13 prefect studying at Southern Boys High School. I was born in New Zealand and I'm 18 years old. And my passion for eradicating poverty and making injustice in this world obsolete all began when I was a young boy living in Saudi Arabia. As a young boy walking the streets with my parents, I saw things that not many boys my age really see. I saw boys my age begging for money, just so they could provide for their family. These images will remain with me for the rest of my life, and they really shocked me. I knew then that I had to do something. I was so lucky to have an education, to have access to water and food, to have a shelter over my head, to have a loving and caring family, to have access to medical treatment whenever I needed it. All these things that are, are basic necessities and human rights, things that not many people in this world have. I strive to remedy these global injustices one step at a time. This year for the 40 hour famine, I was lucky enough to be one of the school leaders in organizing it. So a few other boys and I were really ambitious to make as much money as possible. Our goal for this year was $5,000, and I agreed that if we smashed our goal, I was going to shave my head. So this year, what we did is, we spoke at numerous assemblies and tried to get as many boys as possible involved in the 40 hour famine. We also organized a dodgeball competition, which is still being played to find the ultimate champion. We are also still in the process of organizing a volleyball match with a few players from the South and Sex, so that should be interesting. We're also going to have a Mufti Day. So that should be good as well. And hopefully we can smash our goal of $5,000. I also have this burning urge inside of me, this burning passion that cannot be relinquished by simple efforts. I have this searing desire to, in the words of Muhammad Gandhi, be the change I want to see in this world. I want to eradicate the constraints of extreme poverty on the underprivileged people in this world. I do not believe our success is proportionate to country size or population. I believe we all have the capacity to make change on a really big scale. So there are a few things that we can do to make this world a better place. We can provide them with an education, food and water, shelter, healthcare, and resources to be self-sufficient. Thank you very much.